Hi, Jim. Welcome back to Dreams here. I'm doing your quick love reading. All right, guys. So first, if you want to shop my store, dreamtarot.store, to shop any of the jewelry that I'm wearing today, that's from my store, or any of my crystal candles. There's one burning in the background back there. Um, you can do so by clicking the link in the description box. If you want to book a personal reading with me, that link is also down below as well. All right, without further ado, let's get started with your quick love reading. What's coming in for my Gemini's? What's coming in for my Gemini spirit? Give me some cards. What's coming in for my Gemini's? Give me some cards. Okay, interesting. So we have young woman here, merchant letter. What's the young woman? Okay, so watch out for a young woman, 35 or younger. This person could be an enemy towards you or coming towards you, but they don't have good intentions. What's the merchant? Foe. Okay, so somebody may want to do a service for you or want you to do a service for them, but they don't have good intentions. What's this letter? Okay. Doctor is here. It's like someone reaches out to you, and this is someone who always reaches out to you, Gemini, when they need something from you, okay? So this could be a young woman, or you are that young woman. Be careful, this person. All right, let's see what's going on. Clarify who this enemy is. Who's this enemy for Gemini? Who's this en enemy? Who's this enemy? Okay. Five of Cups. Somebody who's disappointed you in the past. Okay. Tell me more about this enemy. What's the Five of Cups? Seven of Wands. You really push this person away. It looks like they're coming back your way. What does this person want from Gemini? What does this person want? What does this person want from Gemini, Spirit? The world card, okay, they want a new beginning with you, a second chance possibly, what else? The hangman, somebody's been feeling really stuck since they stopped dealing with you. Yeah, the eight of swords is on the bottom and the hangman. So someone's been feeling really stuck since they stopped dealing with you or since you stopped dealing with them, excuse me. And now they want a second chance or they want to try again, okay? All right, tell me about this merchant. No, tell me about this foe, who's this foe? I want to get like, okay, the star card in Aquarius or someone you had a lot of hope for, someone also that you've landed a helping hand for or towards a lot. They want a second chance. The judgment card is here. It could be an Aries as well. Tell me about the star card. What do they need help with this time? What do they need help with this time? Page of Pentacles, a little bit of money, okay? A little bit of money, but it's not a little bit of money. The Knight of Pentacles is what they're really asking for. So they may just start off and say, hey, you know, I'm just asking for a little bit of money. But it's really, it's not the Page of Pentacles, it's the Knight of Pentacles. So a little bit of money turns into a, you know, a, a substantial amount of money. And the Six of Pentacles, they are hoping that you'll be generous with them and help them again. Help them out of this burden, Ten of Wands. Okay, um, what does this person need the money for? Let me use this card. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like this is about to be some bullshit. Okay, what does this person need the money for? What do they need this money for, Spirit? What does this person need this money for? <laughs> Look what card came out. Money. I asked, what do they need this money for? They just need it. They want to put it in their savings, okay? Just to have money to 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 chill, to hang, to, to go out and have some fun, some money to blow. They're really begging you for this consolation. Can you please just give me this gift, please, okay? So I can look like the Lord around town. What the fuck? <laughs> what is wrong with people? So someone's asking you for money to flex, okay? What is this person planning to do with the money, Spirit? Give me some cards. What the fuck? What is this person planning to do with the money? This is silly. 
This is silly, for real. Three of Pentacles, okay? Hmm. To put it into their business, perhaps, I feel. Okay, yeah, the Hierophant is here. So maybe someone is trying to flex on their business or, or make it seem like their business is doing better than what it really is. What's the Three of Pentacles? Four of Cups. Okay, so someone's business is not doing as well. Someone's not making a lot of money. They're not being patronized for their services as much as they would like to. Merch, hence merchant. So someone that you really don't fuck with is going to ask you for money so that it, it looks like they're making more money from their business than they really are. Okay? What else? That's, you know, I don't know what to say about that. All right, what else is here? Yeah, the hermit card. Someone hasn't really been showing their face around town because they ha money has just stopped for them. So they want money so that they can act like they're actually making money. The three of pentacles or act like they're working or they're doing something. So this is a love reading, Gemini. So if this is a lover, a past lover coming to you, asking you for money, I feel like they just want to seem like they're the man or they're the woman in town. That's why they're asking you for this because right now they're not making a lot of money. What's the current status of this relationship between Gemini and this person? What's the current status of this relationship between Gemini and this person? Okay, you have the Empress in reverse. So not really getting a lot of attention from each, from each other, not really taking care of each other. You could have stopped taking care of this person in the past, spoiling them. Okay, you're not really doing that for this person anymore. And I feel like you guys had a fight the last time you guys spoke. Five of Swords, Queen of Wands, and the Ten of Swords. Could have been with the Sagittarius or Aries or a Leo. But yeah, you guys kind of like broke up and went your separate ways. There's no real affection going on between you two. No one's showing each other attention. So it is going to be very weird and out of nowhere that this person's asking you for money. But it's not shocking because the constancy card is here, which means that you know this person to ask you for money. They've done it before. Okay, so tell me about this letter. What will this letter say? What will this letter say, please? What will this letter say? Queen of Pentacles, okay? Will you be so generous to give me some money? What else? Tell me more. <laughs> Page of Wands in reverse. They haven't had the best of luck in money lately. So they're going to tell you about that. What else? What else will they say? Will they say anything of emotion other than begging? Will they say anything of emotion towards Gemini? um eight of wands ten of pentacles now this can mean many things this can mean that someone's going to tell you that they do miss the closeness that you guys used to have when you guys were in a long-term relationship or if you guys are married if that's not the case someone could be really buttering you up to get more money out of you so be careful of that i'm just gonna i'm gonna say what it is okay i'm sorry all right let's see what else is here King of Pentacles, somebody sees you as a gold mine or knows that you work often. They know that you have this money, okay? What else is here? You also come off very happy to this person because I just seen the sun card. So someone feels like you're up right now, meaning that you have good money right now. Maybe you can spare some of it to them, okay? What else? All right, the Knight of Wands is here, okay? Somebody feels like money just comes easily to you, but they've been struggling. The Justice card, someone's money karma is not as good as yours. So they're hoping that you will share some wealth with them. Lord have mercy, okay? All right, guys, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to think. I'm just going to get some angel answers, and then we're going to get to the last words. We have some questions, of course, okay? We definitely have some questions here. I want to ask if this person would pay you back. That's what I want to know, okay? Because, you know, we see that they're already using it to, like, make it seem like they're doing better than what they are. Okay, whatever. But let's see if this person will pay you back. So pick number one or number two, okay? Pick number one or number two, all right? So for Geminis who pick number one, will this person pay Gemini back? Will this person pay Gemini back, yes or no? Okay, two, one, two. All right, bottom of the deck says get more information. Okay, so when this person asks you for money, ask why. When they tell you why, ask for what, you know? Ask the, the five W's, who, what, when, where, and why. Get more information before you give this person your money because 
you may not see it back, okay? So let's see. For those of you who picked one, let's see. Will you get your money back? It says remain positive, okay? So that's not a bad thing. Remain positive. So maybe this person will give it back to you. The second card says abundance, okay? First of all, this could mean that this person will give you your money back, but it also means remain positive even if they don't because this could have already happened for you guys, right? Even if they don't, Spirit's going to bless you 10 times more. You're going to have abundance rolling in anyway. Remember, this person's karma right now with money is not good, but they see that yours is, and that will continue to happen for you. So remain positive if you decide to give this person money, okay? All right, for those who pick two, will this person give you your money back? Ask for help from others. Okay, that's interesting. That's interesting to come out. It's like this person's going to ask for help for, from you. So that's weird. Okay, what's the second card to come out? Take action. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Why is these two cards telling you to go get your cousin JJ and them to go get your money back from this person? Okay, that's shady. But um, anyway, I'm gonna move on because I don't have no comment on that. Okay. Also, forget is playing right now. So it's like someone could owe you money, but it's like they're acting like they forgot to pay you back. No, they ain't forget. All right, so let's see. Last words, please. This is just too much. Last words, please. Last words for my gems. Last words for my Geminis in this situation. This is just so messy. Last words for my Geminis in this situation, please. If this doesn't resonate for you guys, please go watch your Venus sign because it's supposed to be love reading. So go watch your Venus sign too, your sun sign, your rising, whatever. You might get some messages in there that resonate better. All right. Also, these are predictions, so keep that in mind. Some of you guys, this could have happened already. Some of you guys, it may not have happened yet. This person hasn't asked you as of yet. All right, last words for Gemini. This card always comes out for Gemini. It's so crazy. It's so crazy. I'm going to show you which one. I need more attention. Remember I said someone is not getting a lot of attention from you and you're not getting a lot of attention from them because someone is the emperor, the, the state of your relationship is the empress in reverse, which means you guys are not really paying each other too much attention. So I don't know who feels like they need more attention from you or if you feel this way from this person. Someone is spoiled. You could spoil this person, okay? Or it could be vice versa. They spoil you. Now, this card always comes out for Gemini. Gemini, you guys are so protected. It's like... You know, even if someone doesn't pay you back, which it sucks, it's like it, spirit always has your back. Abundance is always going to come towards you no matter what. No one compares to you. I feel like you really are this person's savior, hence that doctor coming out. And just you have been a blessing in this person's life and they never had anyone like that. And you try to be that for someone. Maybe you're realizing that I am all that in a bag of chips, but I don't need to be that for you. Okay. Strictly straight is here. So I don't know if you're in a same sex relationship or you're dealing with someone of the same sex and they keep trying to tell you that they're straight. They're not really wanting to be in a relationship, but they always come and lean on you for certain things, you know, or I don't know. Maybe you do have someone who is of the same sex trying to come for you. Maybe you're just straight. Okay. We don't know what the situation is. You make me sad is here. Friends first is here. So it could be a friends first situation. Um, you make me angry. Happy birthday. Whose birthday is it? Capricorn. And it's going to be Aquarius soon. So an Aquarius or a Capricorn. Okay. Someone could be asking you for money from, for their birthday. Tired of the drama. And we also have breakup. Yeah. Okay. All right, Gem. If this resonated, please thumbs up the reading. Comment the moon down below for Dream Tarot. Subscribe to my channel for your next 48 coming out in a couple days. If you... um. If you want a personal reading, if you want to shop my store, if you want to follow my Instagram where I do more readings for you guys, all the links are in the description box down below. I will see you guys very soon. Love you guys so much and we'll speak next time. Bye-bye.